had a discussion a couple weeks ago that I feel like we like are on like the top of like baseball media and writers' heads with some of the stuff that we come up with because it's like wild. And We're still in this shit. <laughs> somewhere, somehow, it comes out right. So we had our whole uh, "Who's the man, Otani or Mike Trout?" debate, right? And people were like in the comments, "Oh, it's definitely Otani. Oh, it's Trout. Oh, someone said Artie Moreno," which I was like, "Yeah, I know, Dick." But, uh, but, um, sorry, no, <laughs> but today it came out that Mike Trout is pushing Angels management to sign Max Scherzer. So, from two Angels fans, do you want to see Mad Max in Anaheim in the big A? Uh, yes, because I'm desperate. <laughs> yes. If, but if I'm using logic and being rational, probably, maybe not, maybe not. Depends. Three years, perfect. Seven uh, years? Uh, uh, two, uh, years two years. Two years. Two years at what? I'd do two years at 40. Yeah, that sounds good. I would do three years at 50, 55. So you think two years at 40 gets it done if he wins another Cy Young this year? I think even if he doesn't win a Cy Young, it'll get it done for him. He He's getting 20 he, wherever he goes. I think that yeah. might be the starting point for his contract. Yeah. You think but, so? he, yeah. but how many... How many teams are in, that have the money to spend it's only a couple and also yeah. i think that uh it seems that a lot of west coast teams are in on him so it seems like he's gonna want to stay out west so that's gonna eliminate a couple people already but imagine what scherzer is one of tiny well, who else would the angels get then i would like i said take a flyer on Syndergaard. because i don't think Syndergaard's is going to get a big deal at all uh, he's not. He's not saying New York. New York's going crazy right now. You know, they can't even get a manager. Everyone's like, "Nope, I'm good." So I say, if you if you're for the Angels, you go you go Scherzer top priority, Syndergaard as like the the number three, and then we piece it together from there. However, if they don't get Scherzer, they need to get Stroman. But that brings me to Marcus Stroman. Because there is reports that uh, some insiders around the Dodgers management there that are saying that the Dodgers are in heavy on Marcus Stroman. So what do you guys think about Marcus Stroman possibly <laughs> being a Dodger? the Dodgers? <laughs> I, I would be upset because that's like the <laughs> that's like the perfect pitcher, man. Like he has the energy, he has like the the it factor. The star, he's like a star. Right. He, you know, he brings eyes to the sport. He's like a he's a hit on Twitter, you know, um, dude. I'd be jealous because I I want him and I've been wanting him for like the last five years, but he yeah. don't want us. <laughs> no. He don't like y'all. When when <laughs> when I hear I'm gonna bust out an old WWE word that I haven't heard in a long time. When it, I think of Strowman, I think of mental fortitude. Okay, well, hot. That's, that's hot. nice. Nice going full. <laughs> just who was that? I can't. I don't even remember the wrestler. Forget. Uh, it. Uh, was it? Uh, it was. Wasn't it? Was, it, uh, it was Lanny Poffo. The genius. Yeah, yeah the genius. Uh, the genius. But um, yeah, I think Strowman is going to be honestly. He's going to be the highest paid pitcher this year. He's going. He's thirty. I think he's. He at least gets five years. At least. Oh, he he should. Him right. and Rendon are going to be the two. Yeah. I, you, you know who I want to? Verlander, bro. That's See, another I, one. I'd rather have Ver, or Verlander or Scherzer. I don't want both. What about Ver? Yeah, Verlander and Stro. If you can make that happen, give them as much as they want. That'd be cool. Now, Verlander, I believe, is older than Scherzer. I think Verlander is going. He's going to be 40 this year or 39 at least. 39, I think. So you're, you would give Justin Verlander two years? Yeah, I would give him two years. 40 million. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. But but what I'm, but what I'm doing is I'm like you know gonna go ahead and get rid of all my training staff, get all new training staff because you can't afford to lose that guy. Yeah. Okay. All right. I like it. So we're going to recap. So that's the Angels' real top priority this year is is training staff. Yeah. They already started cleaning house a little bit. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. 